Turn the page with your life every day Don't let anybody stand in your way All right, well, I hope we got here. We got some crackers. We got some, some nuts. Those are Max Macadamias. We got some cheese. Ooh, some salami. Ooh, some raisins. Some olives. Hey, Mike Foster here. How you doing? Happy Easter. I'm filming this on Easter. It's going to film uh, for you guys uh, a little after Easter. But I decided to put together a charcuterie. Now, I've been around for a long time. I never even heard the word charcuterie except a few, you know, like six months ago. It was like the big thing. Everyone talking about charcuterie. And all it is is it's a platter of finger foods. You know, we used to call them a cheese plate. Now, <laughs> now they want to call it char charcuterie. <laughs> you know. Everyone's trying to reinvent the wheel. This is how to make a, a charcuterie. It's not killer, it's not perfect, it's not classic. It's a basic charcuterie. Check it out. So charcuterie. I'm going to lay down some crackers and put them on both sides like this. I mean, it's all about the board. I'm going to put those raisins in the middle, like thus. Here's some nuts, that's what she said, um, like that. Oh, that's so far, that's pretty beautiful. Here's cheese. This is um, this is nice chopped Havarti. That's the board. This is some nice chopped salami. Oh, I didn't say it was gonna be fast, simple, and easy, did I? Yeah, I did. And there's some black olives. Um, hold on. I also got some grapes. Because for a true charcuterie, you got. I'm gonna put. Oh, that fell. I'm gonna put grapes on both sides here. Oh my, things are going crazy. So, let's. Let's take a look at it. That's a baby if I ever saw one. So we got nuts, macadamias. We got cheese, Havarti. We got cured meat, that's salami. Got some olives, those are black olives. We got some red grapes, and we got crackers. That's your, I might call it a classic one, classic charcuterie. Enjoy. Let's take a bite. Now you can't have a classic charcuterie without a nice wine. I usually drink reds, but during the warmer months, I drink this is a Sauvignon Blanc from uh, New Zealand. Okay. Salute. Oh, that's a baby. And this charcuterie board is gorgeous. So, what I would do, I would take a cracker, take a little cheese, put a little Cured meat on there, it's a salami, and go, ah. So, oh, mm hmm. Now, maybe not. I just keep chilling. Oh, that's a lot. Now, these are designed, obviously, by <laughs> establishments that want you to drink because it's all sodium, it's all dry. It's a sodium mess. Delicious. I'm not saying it's not delicious. But it's designed for you to say, hey, can I have another bottle of wine and six bottles of beer? Because it's all, you know what I'm saying. So, there's Mike's charcuterie. Peace and love. Ah, for more videos like this, check out Live Life 365. On YouTube until next time, peace. Live life. Three, six, five. I'm still chilling it. I got a sweet bubble. I think it's a sharp poop, poopery. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. And then you take the, the fruit to calm, kind of calm, calm it down. Mm. That was refreshing. Grape. Now these used to be grapes. Now they're raisins. My wife eats raisins all, all day. Mm. There you have it, Baba.
why you, why you ask me things. He wants you a picture of me when I was um, almost 30 years younger. Check it out. Check that out. That's my beautiful wife. Look at that. That's Foster right there. <laughs> Baba. Cuckoo.